National's perspective. As I mentioned, I, I'm the Executive Director of Client Solutions and am truly uh, blessed with this position on the account that A, I get to travel all over the world and work with clients who are struggling with the requirements management and development process, so much so that in the next four weeks uh, I will be in Zurich, uh, uh, Sri Lanka, India, so Chennai, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, then on to Singapore, then on to uh, Beijing, and then back home. Uh, for a whole month period, working with clients that would range from Singapore Airlines right straight through to American Express, Accenture, Cognizant, and so on and so forth, talking about some of the challenges that they have with their requirements, talking about some of the deficiencies or areas of improvement that they can work on in terms of, of resolving where uh, individuals are concerned but also where technologies are concerned as well. ESI International has been around for about 28 years now, uh, grew up as a project management consulting firm, and then very quickly realized that great project managers weren't the sole thing uh, to make projects go well, and discovered very quickly that requirements were uh, equally fundamental to the development of great solutions for the benefit uh, of external clients and market share and so on and so forth. 28 years of experience, as I mentioned, uh, focusing our perspectives, again, on project management, program management, contracting, and my particular favorite area, business analysis, and then finally, business skills, which we find very much complementary to all of the items mentioned before. So in that category, we think about things like critical thinking and problem solving. So how do we take something like integrate, take the requirements that our customers are uh, challenging us with, and come up with turnkey solutions, or those types of solutions that are, are taking advantage of platforms that Microsoft continues to evolve. Uh, we are owned by an organization based out of the UK called Informa, and just two weeks ago we were announced as being in the top uh, Fortune 100 based out of the UK. Informa is a conference producing publishing organization who has an arm to it called our Professional Improvement Arm. In that arm is included ESI International, and I think that's very much fitting when it comes to project management and business analysis and overall process improvements and the impact that we have on our, our uh, customers. What do we do? And David, you talked about uh, that which is old is now new again. And I find myself very often having conversations with our customers and our clients, uh, some of which we share uh, with eDev technology, around people, process, and tools. Um, and if you go and look at the eDev technology websites where they proudly boast their new product integrate, one of the diagrams that they have on there is collaborate, and then collaborate on one side, integrate on the other side. And when I think about collaboration, I think about it as sort of a three-dimensional perspective. Collaboration amongst people, process, and tools. Collaboration amongst competencies. Collaboration amongst teams across organizations to bring uh, a quality of service, improvements, and efficiencies to those processes internally that make for a much better environment, make much for a much better uh, customer uh, service experience. And so when we talk about uh, these things. ESI generally focuses on the people in the process side of things, much like EDEV focuses on the technology or the tool and the process side. So our worlds come very nicely together as far as a partnership is concerned. We're very excited about uh, that partnership as well. When we talk about the work that we've done at ESI International, uh, We've delivered, uh, just last year alone, 4,500 courses in business analysis alone in over 75 cities around the world. As I mentioned, I'm going on this great big world tour uh, and talking to some organizations. I'll give you an example. Singapore Airlines we're working with right now uh, on some strategic enterprise analysis initiatives. So you can bet that one of the things we're going to have a conversation about, people, process, and what tools are we currently using to aggregate all of that data, to look at that data, massage and manipulate it so that they can produce uh, great results at their customers. Uh, at, the, at the customer contact point. And as an example to that, one of the things they're working on currently is decreasing, you'll be pleased to know, decreasing the amount of time it takes for you to get out of your taxi cab and actually board an airplane. So they're looking at all of the services that are involved from point A to point B and how they can make much more efficient use of that time from a strategic enterprise-wide perspective. Right from your luggage getting onto the airplane to you getting on the airplane as well. So very exciting times uh, for us in that case. To date, we've trained over a million professionals in, in the fine art of uh, requirements management and project management, uh, as well as contract management, um, and having a serious effect, again, where requirements management and development activities are concerned. 
mentioned some of our, uh, our uh, products and services already. The modes of delivery that we have to offer include e-training. They include uh, virtual training. So we have an instructor that sits in a room. Everybody else is around the world. And we're noticing, and much like EDF Technologies, we're noticing that this collaborative environment, this in integrated project team, is playing a much more critical role in how we develop and deliver our products, particularly with the overseas vendors having an influence and impact on what products and what solutions are being deployed here in North America. And so uh, considering that, we, we have the e-training, the virtual classroom. All of our classes are and can be tailored to uh, our organizations. And, and one of the reasons that I, I, I like to talk about this today is because nine times out of ten, what I, what I find is that the technology is superior, the people operate.